we have the current stock market update for Rigetti Computing Incorporated, stock ticker RGTI. Before we begin with today's chart and analysis, if you find these educational materials to be helpful, please remember to click the like and subscribe buttons and leave your thoughts below in the comment section so that other traders can find this information more easily on the platform. So what we're looking at here is the one hour time frame, And as we can see, there is a moderately positive day today. Uh, this is a bit more important in terms of structure rather than price action, because all that we're really seeing here is a gain of about 4.6%, uh, which for a highly volatile stock like this might not be very impressive. Uh, however, if we sort of take a look at these recent price highs here, what we can see is that the stock is continuing to sort of maintain uh, this upward trajectory where we are continuing to see higher lows and higher highs. So as we can uh, see here, uh, the, this initial major price high came in at $19.34. Uh, then after this, we did see this price high of uh, $20.37 last Friday. And now today, uh, this major price high that we're seeing here comes in at $21.42. So let's just quickly mark this in here. So as you can see, this is a you know a fairly clear series of higher highs. I mean, we're seeing a high of about a, another dollar each time. So uh, that is a bit significant on its own. But the real question at this point is whether or not we're starting to slow down in terms of broader momentum, because if that is the case, uh, you know, this is a stock that could be vulnerable to tremendous downside. So what we're going to do here to make that determination is first, we are going to take a look at the uh, indicator reading on this time frame. So as I said, this is the one hour price chart, one hour relative strength index reading. And as we can see here, for the most part, uh, this upward trajectory here uh, and bullish momentum does still remain intact. We have seen a couple of instances here where the stock has fallen enough uh, for there to be a, a break of this trend line. However, uh, the resulting rallies, the rallies that followed were strong enough. Uh, we did see resistance levels break during that process. So I would feel comfortable in referring to this, uh, this area here and this area here uh, as a false breakout to the downside in both cases. So uh, for the most part, I would say that this uptrend here still does remain intact. Uh, we would need to see a bit more of a decline here in order for that to reverse itself. However, we do also need to take note of this uh, downtrend line here that's developing as well, because this does suggest that bearish momentum is also present. So we do have a bit of a symmetrical triangle type of formation here, but we also need to understand that uh, you know, the longer term trajectory does win out. So if we're sort of uh, looking for evidence of which, uh, which case to make here, the bullish or the bearish case, currently this does still suggest that you can make uh, the bullish case for this stock. So if you sort of pair that with the fact that we're also making higher highs, uh, that is largely supportive. There's just one other factor to note here, which is that, uh, again, what we're seeing is a bearish divergence, because if we just sort of pull out here a bit and we take a look at this recent price high itself, as we can see, uh, the stock is making new highs here, but the indicator reading is definitely not making new highs. I mean, the indicator reading is actually fairly weak at the moment. So this is clearly a downtrend in momentum. And then this major price high here isn't even, we're not even trading in over, uh, overbought territory at the moment. So you, you can even spin that a bit in a positive direction and you can say, well, uh, we're, not in, we're not in overbought territory yet. That means that we can continue to move higher uh, before we become overextended. And there is some truth to that, but you do also need to consider the fact that uh, this is a clear bearish divergence and the, the overall relative strength index re, uh, relative strength index reading is a bit weak at the moment. So uh, sort of a bit of a conflicting picture here. Uh, different signals are starting to emerge. Uh, but, you know, I do think that it's worrisome that the indicator reading itself is not confirming these new price highs uh, because that does suggest that the stock could be vulnerable at those highs. So uh, that is that is definitely one factor to note. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, we're not trading in overbought territory. And then this longer term positive momentum reading is still in place. So if we move out to the more advanced forms of analysis here, we can see on the 30 minute time frame, we can see that there is currently a bearish harmonic pattern that is forming here. So specifically what we're looking at here is a bearish butterfly pattern. Uh, as we can see here, we've got the uh, D point, which suggests that a reversal is likely to start to occur here. Uh, this occurs just as the stock is also forming a fractal and uh, we're moving into that plus one standard deviation. So not exactly the plus two, uh, which would be a bit more preferable, but we have started to see some fairly significant short-term declines here. Uh, and this pattern has already started to play out to a large extent. 
So the real question at this point is whether or not, uh, you know, we're going to start to see reversals from here. This would suggest an upside price movement of just above $22 per share, around $22.40. Uh, if we were to see this occur, this would invalidate this bearish pattern, and then this would suggest that uh, some further extension to the top side would then be likely. However, on the downside, what this could suggest here is an ultimate price movement into right around $16 per share. So this is a fairly significant move to the downside, and that would also suggest that a fair amount of bearish momentum would have started to have taken hold at that point. Uh, of course, we would need to fall through that minus two standard deviation on this time frame, but it is a relatively short-term time frame, so that is so that type of price movement is possible. Uh, as we can see here, there, there is the generation of some new bearish momentum as well, as we can see here. So there is starting to be some additional evidence that we could be starting to turn around here uh, on these shorter term timeframes. As I said, this is a 30 minute price chart. So, uh, you know, at this point, uh, the real question is whether or not we start to build in that negative momentum. So currently one signal here, you know, for the most part, this is roughly uh, neutral momentum that's being seen here because the, these uh, trading bars here are very small. Uh, and the colors are not very dark so this that does suggest that momentum hasn't really started to build just yet uh so we are sort of flatlining here at these upper levels but you know there, there are a couple of different ways of interpreting this one you can you can suggest that uh, share prices have the potential to continue to move higher however uh, the overall upside here does look fairly limited as we can see here and in contrast to this what we can see is that potential movements to the downside could be much more substantial you can see much more room uh, to extend in this direction if we were to see the stock start to roll over and possibly start to build uh, build in that downside momentum. So from this perspective alone, and this does really look like $16 would be possible if we do start to see uh, you know, a rollover here uh, and an increase in negative momentum. Now, that's not exactly happening yet, as we can see. I mean, we're trading above uh, five, you know, gains of 5% on the day. So you know, that is still positive, but but it is a little bit difficult here to ignore the fact that we do have this bearish butterfly pattern uh, and the momentum rating is really sort of starting to stall out here at these upper levels. So for the most part, you know, so here's the current stock market update for Rigetti Computing Incorporated, stock ticker RGTI. Our high value trading strategies membership is currently available for a limited time for only $9.99 per month. These high conviction investment strategies are characterized by superior risk to reward metrics that target massive market beating returns over time. Join now to outperform the market, lock in this special introductory rate of just $9.99 per month for the entire lifetime of your membership and start trading stocks with the pros.